Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my family, my friends, my treasures. Sorry for the delay there. Um, I was trying to get it linked up on my uh, computer, and it wasn't showing up as I was live. So, yeah. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope this finds you in good spirits. I hope that, if it does not, that I may brighten your spirits and bring a smile to your face. A uh, quick reminder that I will not be replying to chat verbally during this series. I'll do my best to reply via chat when I can, when I see it and have a moment. Otherwise, my moderators will do their best to reply for me. I am still waking up. I've been up for about an hour. Um... I didn't sleep last night, I thought I was going to, and I was tired in the beginning of the night, and then I did all the boss fights in ASA, and with a buddy of mine, because he's switching the map to Scorched Earth, uh, Monday, so we wanted to make sure to get all that done. If you're interested in checking out my other socials, I am also a streamer on Twitch, so be sure to go check that out and see me live and interactive a little bit more there. We are going to be continuing Seeds of the Past. We did not finish it last time, um, so we're going to try to finish that. I have about 45 minutes to do this and then hop off. If we do not finish it today, um, we will be finishing it next time. So, stick around, have fun, ha stay hydrated, eat some, eat something, and, uh, yeah, enjoy. Alright, so we... Oh, we got over there. We got battery storage rack, grapple point. What we got here? Gonna need a data key for this lock. Okay. I think I can move these things. There we go. Huh. There's some space back there. Alright, so that doesn't do anything right there? Okay. Alright, so we're gonna... Oh, there's something back there. should help see it just astounds me like all this stuff is like so old and like this bypass he hasn't like rusted into a, a wall or something So we gotta go back over to this panel. There we go. That looks like some sort of conveyor. You think you can move it over to me? Yeah. If you can hop on top of it, I can get you to those consoles. Exactly. Now how strong do you think she has to be? In order to like pull this, like hold it there. That Let me just. I jumped on top. Oh, she jumped on top. On, hold it. on. That's good. Jumping over. Made it. 
I'm at the console. Wait! There's data here. A, a lot. But it's blocked. Something's restricting access. If I can't get past it, my mission here is doomed. Alva, I'll help. If I can, okay? But first we have to get out of here. Right. We need to open the hatch. Okay, let's see... Okay. I'm unlocking a storage unit. There should be a power cell inside. Then you need to find a way into the generator room. Okay, I'm on it. I found the energy cell. Now find a way into the generator room. But all those batteries, and you wouldn't think that more than one would be used, or useful still. Like, if, if this one's lasted that long, why are it in all of those? Alright, so... Generator room. Doesn't look like the generator's in this room. It has to be somewhere else. Hold up. Alright, hold on. There we go. Come on. There we go. Alright. Ignite the bird green. And double the way. Um, Aloy, would would you mind warning me next time you decide to uh, uh blow up a wall? I'll uh try. Insert the energy cell. Okay, that brought power back to the doors. You can reach me now. On my way. Ladder. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Okay. We need to operate both consoles simultaneously to open the hatch. I'll get to the other console. You stay here. Okay, you ready? On two. One, two. Commencing adamantine reef vulnerability test scenario, 12C15. <sighs> okay. That's where we need to go. Magnetic field engaged. Initiating biomass conversion process. What? No, 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 no. How do I shut this thing off? Failsafe exceeded. Test cannot be aborted. What is this? How the world ended. Test complete. Adamantine reef structural integrity uncompromised. Holy shit. Alva. Let's meet below. I'm gonna share a file with you, okay? Test log, um, uh, I think it's Tuesday. 
the second? Well, who cares? I'll say this for the end of the world. It's jam-packed with irony. We developed biomass conversion here. Infinite food for infinite machines. And now we're racing against time to find something to give them indigestion. Well, it works. War machines won't be able to eat the wreaths. But can we deploy them in time? God, I hope so. I don't understand. Your ancestors? They were wiped out. Your legacy didn't tell you that? A time of ashes. But most of the data about that is lost, or forbidden. Well, they created machines that consumed all life. You just saw how. It's a miracle anything survived. I don't want to know this. This is not why I'm here. I need the wisdom of my ancestors to help save my people, not forbidden knowledge of their sins. I need to find something that helps, something to bring back. The overseers will punish me, or even worse, people will die. Do you understand? My family, my sister. I left her when she was 14. Already you could see her bones. They will starve. Alva. Alva. I get it. I do. It's hard to explain. But you and I are working toward the same goal. And if I succeed, your people won't need any data. Things will just... They will get better. But even if I believe you, my people won't. I need to bring something back. Bring me. Okay. Then we'll go to Test Station Ivy. And if I can find a way to kill those vines, then I will have access to the data core. What I need is in there. I'm pretty sure that if I take it, it will unblock access to all the data that this place has. And that will give you something to bring home. I'm not sure I understand. But... Every secret makes its own maze. A diviner must persevere. Go on. I'll follow. We need to keep moving. Test Station Ivy can't be far off. Test Station Ivy can't be far off. Alright. Um, down? Oh. Ladder. <laughs> down. Ladder. Come on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I almost missed it. Into the water. Another maze. But the road to truth is never a straight line. All right, let's see here. Oh, the doorway. So the metal flowers, what the data referred to as adamantine wreaths. They were supposed to stop the destruction that caused the time of ashes? Looks like it. But I guess something went wrong. I don't think they were deployed on time. Looks like it goes all the way to the surface. I think we're under the proving grounds. Maybe it connects the rig to the tower. Best not to linger here long, then. Right, let's check this one over here. So, I never asked, uh, are you from around here? No, I'm not. I, um, spent most of my life in a place far the east. Oh, we've both traveled a long way, then. Not as long as you think. Get out of the corner. This is it. 
This is it. What is? Oh, ladder. I feel like I probably missed something down here, but if we if it gets us to where we need to go, I'm I'm not worried about it, you know. Okay. Let's find a way to get into the proving ground. Alright. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't like that. There's medicinal stuffs. Such desolation. Nothing survived. Alright. Oh. Love how even the fucking like that thing is reflected in the water with this. That's weird. I mean that ridge wood. I mean that ridge wood. That complex should be testation ivy. Oh, well, let's hope it holds the answers we seek. I mean, it literally says ivy on it, so. It's so still. Yeah. Um. It's one of those machines. It can turn invisible. We're gonna have to take it out to get into the test station. You with me? Yes. Ammunition here. Let's strike in unison. Exploit its vulnerabilities. Avoid approach. That's big, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't die in time. Can I make more? No, I just said ouch for no reason. Uh. <gasps> I missed! Use fire, fire, she says. Damn it. A good choice of weapon. 
good choice of weapon. Oh, I'm bad. That uses blinding techniques. Fuck you. Arrows? We will come out. Over its head, damn it. Terrifying. Terrifying, but amazing. Well, you helped. We should be able to get into Testation Ivy now. I mean, it was easier than I thought it was going to be, but also still harder than I wanted it to be because I'm not using my choice weapons. What the fuck was that? It's fucking weird. We shouldn't linger here. There might be more machines. There might be more machines. Oh, I think there's always more machines. I think we could have gotten into Testation Ivy even with the fucking animal out there. There has to be some data here on the adamantine wreath we can use. I trust your focus will see what mine cannot. Alright, so we got another oh, data point. That's interesting. Find something? The fourth test station. Willow. It looks like it's underwater. Huh. That might be worth a look sometime. Okay. I must have faith. I this walk console's still answers. operational. We shall find what we seek. Alright. Valuables. Okay. That. Another log. We're done in every way. The reeds work, and Cobble came through on a way to destroy them. Downloading a coded key into the deployment shell triggers an enzyme that causes the reeds to eat themselves from within. But it's too late. The latest projections from U.S. Robot Command have swarm reproduction, outpacing our ability to drop the shells by 375%. Not even close. I guess we deserve this. I deserve it for what I made here. This will be my last log before evacuation. So, all their efforts were in vain. They ran out of time. At least we have the software module they created. It should get rid of the vines produced by the metal flowers. I need a workbench to load the module into my spear. There's one back at our camp. The map showed a path leading back there past the next room. Craft the vine cutter. to hold. <laughs> oh. 
That must be the fourth testing station we saw on the map. Looks like it's been flooded for a while. In here. We'll have to climb up. Right behind you! Right behind you, she says. <laughs> oh, over there. There we go. Up. And we go this way. That way. And then this way. We can use the line to get down. Uh, right. Easy. She's so awkward. We better make haste. After we. <sighs> All right. So we got weapon upgrade. Special gear. Vine cutter. Countered barbarian. Now what? Now we get to that data core. As I was saying, I still can't believe you took on all these soldiers by yourself. But we'd better make haste. After we encountered barbarians, our lieutenant called for reinforcements. They could be here any time. Right. Let's hope this new module works. Use melee attacks to open a metal flower. Oh, wrong button. Flower's blooming. Let's see if the software works. That's the wrong button. Vines. They're falling apart. Door's clear now. Fuck yeah. There she is. The data core looks intact. Time to bring Demeter home. Demeter, I see you. Demeter, it's time to go home. To Gaia. I see the morning. Yes. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Demeter's subordinate function to original code. What did you do? I've never seen my focus glitch like that. Ah. Uh. I found a special type of data. It's something you can't read. But they kept a tight grip on the data core. But now you should have access to the central server. All of it. Should give you something to bring home. You were right. Hundreds of archives. Almost all of it relating to agriculture. It would take us years to get through all of this. But we don't have that kind of time. Uh, what you said before about... <laughs> Alba! Hold your fire! By the word of the ancestors, you must stop. Come. Look at who you fired on. That barbarian killed our soldiers! Uh, only those who fired blindly. She is no barbarian. She gave me the data we need. Come, L look at her. Can't you see? Elizabeth Sobek stands before you, an ancestor reborn.
Diviner. Oh, that was fucking. We should bring the ancestor back. <laughs> that was tight. It is tense. me who follow their word, Commander, not the other way around. Uh, my apologies, Doctor Sobek. Our people's faith is strong, but there are those who are not as familiar with the legacy as they should be. You heard the Diviner. The data has been found. You two, with me. The rest of you, meet us back at the beach for return to landfall. I can't talk long. They will have many questions. So do I. Your people know a lot about the past. And about Sobek, I guess, but they're... Please, I must know. What you said before about working towards the same goal? How long will it take? I don't know. A few months? Then you are my family's best hope. Let nothing get in your way. You have opened my eyes to many things, and for that, I thank you. But now you must go. Will I see you again? Soon we return to Legacy's landfall. It might be dangerous for you to go there. This is cute. Tell me how to reach it, just in case. Awkward, but cute. We made landfall on the northeast edge of the sunken city. The currents around the archipelago are vicious, and the only approach is from the south. And it is guarded. Only attempt to go there if you must. Diviner! What's the delay? Please, go. If you attempt to stay here any longer, they may want to take you with us, and that won't go well for anyone. Correct, because I'll kill them. I will come to you in my own time. I better do as Alva says. I need to get Demeter back to Gaia anyway. But I might want to explore the area before I make the trek back to base. And now I can use the vine cutter on those other metal flowers I found earlier. I'm just going to return to base because... I think what we'll do is we'll do a metal flower hunt in a different episode. I don't even think it'd be a hunt, really. It'd be, like, a journey, because it'd be more than one... Um... Oh, shit. Uh... That's a long way away. Hold on. Where the fuck is the nearest campfire? What the fuck? There's a question mark there. Request there. Oh, okay. I was I was zoomed too far out. Okay, so that's gonna take me right past. Um, that's a tree. I looked away for a brief moment. <laughs> uh. It's going to take me right past a campfire, so we should be get, able to teleport from there. Boom. Campfire. But also, boom. Shelter. That one's closer. That will also have a campfire. Wait. Motherfucker. go I'll say this for a dire there we go that it oh no wait there's another one over there there we go. I know. That's why I'm going to a campfire. Don't tell me what to do. Alright, so now we're going to fast travel. All the way. No, oh, I want to travel.
I think we finished this in perfect time. Ohana means family. And family means nobody is left behind. I know. Random. Bear with me. Why does it say pry open when you're just pressing the button? Oh, we got people to talk so to. He's like, uh, Gaia's own personal blacksmith. Yeah. A very angry one. Yes, a very He's angry like one. like my Uncle Lawrence. Man didn't smile a day in his life and would box your ears if you messed with his forge. Okay. I like the little tidbit and shit like that, you know. So if I hear something interesting, I always gotta stop and listen. It is good to see you again, Aloy. I see you have recovered Demeter. With the acquisition of Ether, Poseidon, Poseidon and, Demeter, and Demeter, my heuristic processing density has expanded greatly. I should now be able to absorb Hephaestus, and fortunately, we have made progress on a plan to capture it. Oh, Hephaestus is going to be an interesting one. With Varl's encouragement, Beta analyzed all available information on Hephaestus. Its expansion has been rampant. It is too large to be beam cast, and the kernel you have been using could never hold it. Therefore, it must be contained in a location with a direct physical connection to me. A place with two data cores. Two cores? Where would we find a place like that? Gemini. An abandoned cauldron in the desert west of here. Seismic activity disrupted the original construction. Two data cores were built as a result. I know that place. It's near the Desert Clan's capital. I'll have to bring you there by hand. I have devised a blueprint for a suitable, albeit unwieldy, transport rig. It will require two people to carry it to Gemini. I can help. Once I am installed on the first core, I will call down Hephaestus on the other, trapping it. I will then initiate the merge. However, in order to construct the rig, I will need considerable help. Can you build it? I suppose I could, but it's not gonna work. The Zeniths will find you. Minerva won't be able to conceal your location. That is correct. Absorbing Hephaestus will create a significant power surge, easily detected by anyone capable of noticing. But what if there were multiple power surges? To fake out the Zeniths? If Erend, Zoe, and Catalo spread out to the other cauldrons and create their own surges, would those conceal the one at Gemini? Analyzing. Such a tactic might be effective. With Beta's help, we should be able to build a set of handheld pulse generators. I told you it's not gonna work! I did a test. Hephaestus has written Alpha Clearance out of its access module. You'll never be able to capture it! Then we need a higher level of clearance. There is no higher- Ted Pharaoh's Mega Clearance. The one he used to purge the Apollo database and kill the Alphas. 
But to get it, you would have to find Thebes. The private bunker he retreated to when the world ended, and nobody knows where that is, not even the Zeniths. Their only intel was that it was somewhere in San Francisco. That might be all I need. Alva, the Quen Diviner I met, said her people had set up a base at Landfall. They were searching for data in San Francisco from there. She might be able to help. So I guess I'm headed all the way west. While I'm gone, will you be able to build the rig and the pulse generators? I'll try. I'll make sure she has what she needs. Beta has, like, no confidence. All of us said the Quinn have a ferry on the coast that they use to get to the ruins of San Francisco. That's where I need to go. Hey. Request there. I have managed to unlock an additional room near the servers. Understood. She also wants to talk to me, so... Hey, Gaia. Let's... Me again. Welcome back, Aloy. Where shall we resume? Beta's convinced we won't be able to capture Hephaestus. With that attitude, do you really think she'll be able to build the rig and pulse generators? It may take some coaxing, but with some assistance, I am confident she will. I don't get her, Gaia. She's so quick to assume we'll fail. She's nothing like... like what I thought she'd be. I guess it'll be best if she stays here when we go to Gemini. Um... All this data I've picked up in ancient bunkers and ruins. I guess I never really thought that other people would be looking at it. Based on my observations, your companions engage quite frequently with this material. Erend has asked on numerous occasions about birthday parties. <laughs> he appears perplexed by the tradition of serving a sweet confection as it conflicts with the Osaram tradition of serving sparkling stout ale. He also suggested we host a party for you, as a surprise. Uh, yeah, no thanks. That is what I predicted. <laughs> is Catalo getting along with everyone? Yes, though he prefers to spend most of the time alone. He appears to be collating data on war machine progression and significant battles during the Pharaoh Plague to aid in the creation of a war map of Operation Enduring Victory. I believe he aims to study the tactics of old world warfare. I'd be interested in seeing that. It appears to be a private pastime for him. He has repeatedly declined my offers to assist his research. So now that you have Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon, how's the biosphere looking? In the local region, conditions have improved. Superstorms have subsided. Water sources have been purified. And soil conditions remediated. These improvements will stave off environmental collapse for a few additional months. Well, with luck, soon you'll have Hephaestus. Then you'll be able to fix the biosphere for good, right? Correct. I will be able to design and produce robotic agents to permanently reverse the environmental damage that has accumulated. So our plan to capture Hephaestus. Let's go over it again. As you wish. Thanks to Beta's test, we now know that Hephaestus will not respond to your Alpha clearance. Which is why you will need to procure Ted Farrow's Omega clearance. Right. From his personal bunker, Thebes. While you are gone, I will assist Beta in building the transport rig and pulse generators. When we get to Gemini, I will need to be installed on one of the facility's cores. The second core is for Hephaestus. Using Omega clearance will allow you to trap it. And then you'll be able to absorb it. Not quite. You will need to manually remove Hephaestus's malicious code 
before the merge. How long will oh, that take? Oh, they didn't say that There before. are calculations I still must run, but I estimate a few hours. And during that time, the others will create a distraction for us using the pulse generators, right? Correct. They will each take position at a cauldron door and fire off their device. The energy surge should mask our activities until the merge is complete. And then we'll have everything we need to defeat the Zenus. Sounds like a plan. There's something I've been wondering. How could Ted Farrow create a clearance level higher than Alpha? Elizabeth made sure he wouldn't interfere with the project. It is plausible he tasked his own engineers with creating a back door to the Zero Dawn system without Elizabeth's knowledge. My predecessor did not even know of its existence until he activated it to purge the Apollo database. It is, in effect, a blind spot. One that will allow us to subdue Hephaestus. And fortunately, thanks to Beta's information, we know where Omega Clearance may be procured. Right. Somewhere in San Francisco. Okay. So Gemini has two data cores. I've never seen a cauldron like that. But you mentioned something about seismic activity? When my predecessor attempted to build the cauldron, construction was disrupted by a series of earthquakes. The data core had already been built, but the rest of the facility sustained damage. So she began again. A second core was built. However, when more tremblers occurred, she abandoned the site. Lucky for us. Are the quakes still happening? No. Though they did also create instabilities in other facilities in the region. So the facility where I recovered Demeter used to be a Faro agricultural research facility. It's where they created the biomass conversion system, but also adamantine wreath. Did Elizabeth know they were working on that? It is likely she was briefed on other efforts to combat the machine swarm. Though her focus was devoted only to Zero Dawn. That makes sense. But they actually got the wreaths to work. If they've been able to deploy it against the Pharaoh Plague in time... Using the data you recovered on the project, I ran several simulations and have concluded that it would never have worked. In all scenarios, the Pharaoh War Machines would eventually hack and deactivate the wreaths before they could contain the swarm. So Zero Dawn really was the only solution. There was a lot of data in the greenhouse facility about agriculture. Do you think it'll help the Quen fix their homeland? I will run a query. Complete. The data contains information about novel crop production methods, which may be beneficial to the tribe in the long term. But new crops aren't going to save the world. So I guess it's on us. It is. Okay. I found some data in one of the rooms you unlocked. It mentioned that there are still functional seed banks beneath this facility. Why is it there? My predecessor was tasked with reconstituting the biosphere with primary and secondary plant species. Had everything gone according to plan, humans would have eventually been able to introduce tertiary species, including new crops. Can we access them now? Unfortunately, it will have to wait. I require control over the machines in order to access and distribute the preserved seed stock. And for that we need a Festus. It's something to look into later then. Uh, I'm not gonna See worry about those other Gaia. ones. Until next time, Aloy. I know there's a couple other things that the others wanted to talk about, so let's oh, wait, wait, wait. There. Let's see what we got. Good choice.
So we can actually see what the drone is viewing. I didn't know that. Okay, well. Why she got two doors? Oh, there's, there's a quest like over here. And dirt. Don't forget all that dirt we have to do. Oh, uh, here. We should have more of it. The coming battle won't be easy. Got a minute? As many as you need. I have to travel beyond the western coast. To the ruins shrouded in fog. Yes. And I'm looking for a tribe, the Quen. I encountered them once before. They said they came from across the great ocean. I was hoping the Tanakh knew more about them. Hmm. There were rumors of trespassers in the area, but we thought they were just bandits. Hikaro sent out a patrol or two, but I don't recall them reporting back. We've had more pressing concerns, as you know. I'm sorry. That's all I can tell you. <sighs> it's okay. I guess I'll find out soon enough. There is something I've been meaning to discuss with you. It's personal. If you have a moment to spare. You said there was something you wanted to talk about? I've been you speaking know, with uh, Gaia. Quest. She mentioned that the Zeniths bind metal with flesh to make themselves stronger. I was wondering if you'd help me do the same. You want to make yourself a new arm? Yes. Gaia insists she can help me build such a thing if I can get the necessary data and materials. She believes these things lie in the place where Beta hid from the Zeniths. Their ancient research lab. I am not as familiar with Old World machinery as you are. I could use your assistance. It might be dangerous. The Zeniths probably still keep an eye on that place. We were lucky to get out of there alive the first time. I see. It sounds like this is worth the risk. By the ten, we shall see it through. Brother, man, you need to drink some water. Look at your lips. What have you been up to? Varl has asked to learn the differences between my people's clans. So I've been teaching him to knock the history. It is heavy with blood and death, but also with honorable deeds and vanquished tyrants. Maybe you'd like to hear about it as well, when our mission is done. I'd be honored. What do Tanakhs do to relax? You know, to take a break from training? We play strike. Your Osirum friend, Erend, is surprisingly good at it. Although he has yet to beat me. It helps one think strategically. Hones the mind for tactics. Somehow that still sounds like training. <laughs> well, yeah. Anything interesting happen while I was away? I found an acceptable place to practice with my blade. Oh, and where's that? Outside, above the base. There's a nest of sun wings that are always up for a fight. Ever thought of sparring with something that's not trying to kill you? That would defeat the purpose of the training. Found anything interesting during your training? Gaia told me where to find data on how wars were waged in the old world. I knew the Ten fought against machines, much as we do now, but it seems they were among the last of their kind. Later, machines battled other machines on behalf of greedy leaders, as they vied for lands and spoils. At least the Tanakh have the courage to put their lives on the line when conflicts arise. There is nobility in that. But maybe we just need fewer conflicts in the first place. Yes, of course. Hikaru would have it so as well. Okay. I should get going. 
I've got a long road ahead. Should you need reinforcements? I know who to call. I'll call you when I'm near the Zenith lab. We'll get what you need for that new arm of yours. Thank you, Aloy. What's this I hear about you going west? Turns out we need one last thing before we can grab Hephaestus. Because it would have been too easy otherwise. I was hoping you could help me with something. It's about the Tanakh rebels, and it also has to do with the Osirum. Really? That doesn't sound good. Let me know what I can do to help. Um, that one. I discovered an Osirum militant group. They call themselves the Sons of Prometheus? It looks like they're the ones overriding machines for the Tanakh rebels. I thought that was something only you could do. They're familiar with ancient tech. And they're as anti-Karja as it gets. So, last year we stopped Durval and his cronies from blowing up Meridian in retribution for the Red Raids. And now you're telling me we have another group of Asaram trying to wipe out the Karja with... with an army of machines and bloodthirsty Tanakh? Pretty much. Oh, well, that's just great! Is there any way you can help me find out who they are? Anything to track them down and stop them? Yeah, I can send out some messages from Chainscrape. Get in touch with my contacts in the claim, see what I can find out. I'd appreciate that. Anything happen I should know about? Uh, Zoe asked us to help her bring more plants in here. Not for eating, apparently. Yeah, if you ask me, place is fine as it is. You know, metal might be plain, but it's sturdy. Nothing wrong with that. Who needs a bunch of vegetation? We do. How are things with Catalo? You still scared of him? Oh, she thinks she's funny. Actually, I played strike with him. I had to fill in most of the conversation myself, but I'm still alive. Glad to hear it. Bet you're used to that focus by now. Well, I can hit machines in their weak points. I guess that's something. I wish all the other data was as easy to deal with. Now, to be honest, it's hard to understand half of what's on there. And then the other half reminds me, well, this isn't a fight you can win by just waving a hammer. Which is kind of what I do. But hey, that just means I gotta study harder. Now, make myself useful. Make just myself useful. <laughs> You've been looking at any interesting data? Yeah, I asked Gaia to find I me something to look don't at come a while back. back. Here enough. And she found the mother of all forges. They called it sports. Turns out the old ones spent a lot of time tackling and punching each other for points in, in one game or another. Are you mixing some solid food and fresh ale? I bet half the claim will be lining up to watch. Oh, no, he's a sports fan. No! Although I, I can see it. I think I know the answer, but... Are you I'm sure, sure you don't you need don't help? help? No, I'm Gaia good. mentioned this uh, other tribe you found, the Quen. They sound like a nasty bunch. I can handle them. In the meantime, Varl will help you get ready for what comes next. Take care of yourself, Aloy. Okay. So that's him taken care of. I'm sorry, Aloy. After all the trouble you went through, you have to head west again. Oh, well, no one said this was going to be easy. You sure you don't want any backup dealing with the Quen? They think I'm Sobek, or something like that. They won't hurt me, but I doubt they'll be so kind to anyone else. If you say so, let me know if you need anything before you go. Okay. If I get Omega clearance, and then we grab Hephaestus, we might finally have the advantage over the Zeniths. Can't wait to see their faces as they stare down a bunch of charging thunder jaws. Better them than us, for once. You better not be slacking off on your studies while I'm gone. And risk Zoe coming after me? I value my life. In fact, 
I've been reading about Ted Farrow, how he destroyed the world and crawled into a hole after killing those who saved it. He definitely was a piece of work. I hope Zoe's not upset I'm distracting you from your training. Yeah, I don't think you have to worry about that. What do you mean? What happened? Well, before Zoe found a way to fix the land gods, I suggested that when Gaia was fully restored, she could just make new ones. Well, once we get Hephaestus, that's definitely a possibility. That's what I said. But I guess there was something about my tone she didn't like. She got pretty raw. Said I didn't understand the way her tribe feels about those machines. Which is true, of course. And the last thing I'd ever want to do is dismiss their traditions. But I was trying to look at things differently. More like you, you know? To see a machine as just a machine. Yeah, I guess I led you into trouble there, didn't I? Not your fault. Don't worry. Did you talk to Zoe after your fight? I suffered through a few hours of glaring silence. Then she seemed to move on. Sort of. How do people do this? How do I know if the next thing I say won't blow up in my face? What if an apology is not enough next time? You give her a stuffed animal? You're the worst. You know that? What makes you think <laughs> I know anything about any of this? You're on oh, own. So Abandoning me again, one. huh? Well, if she kills me next time, it's on you. Not gonna lie, he looks fantastic. Like, his entire overall design, like his cloak and everything, the way his hair is done and the, his, like, face paint, wonderful. Well, Beta and Gaia built the rig, can you get everyone ready for the mission ahead? Of course. What is it? Nothing, it's just that everything's about to change. We'll get Gaia, and she'll help us set things right. No more zeniths, no more derangement. It'll be a different world. I welcome it, but I wonder how the Nora will react, and the Karja, and, well, everyone. Let's just focus on fixing Gaia for now. You're right. He's thinking too far forward. got an angry AI to take down. Yeah, I have Festus is pissed. I'm not I'll be in touch him. if I need anything. Like he I'll builds sure things, like he destroys. He builds more generators. things to defend those things. Those get destroyed. He's like, he's, he's literally the definition of us when we get mad and when we're trying to do stuff. All right, so I need confirmation so I can finish Aloy, up that other quest. I hear you're going further west past the Tanakh clan lands. Do you know anything about the area? Only hearsay. The Utaru tell stories of an island that lies beyond the western coast. They call it the Isle of Spires. It is said the old ones built towers there that touch the sky, so they Manhattan? could live far away from the earth that bore them. As if they didn't want to be reminded that they'd one day return to it. Sounds like something Ted Farrow would do. Any progress with your plan for the land gods? Is the reboot code ready? It is. But there is difficult work ahead. Gaia warned me that because the land gods are linked together in a network, the code must be delivered to all of them. Most are in plain song, but in recent years, three of them wandered off. So, T, and Do. We have to find them? No, we know where they are, but they're hard to reach. So, wandered into a lake and sank. Do ventured into a dangerous canyon, and T broke down amidst a herd of machines. Okay, tell you what. You go to Plainsong, handle all the land gods there. I'll take care of So, T, and Do. I'll need their locations, plus the reboot code. I'm sending the data to you now. My people made shrines near where each land god faltered. When you see them, you'll know you're close. And once again, thanks for your help. We're not gonna let your people starve, So. I promise. You ever play that board game Aaron set up? Strike? I'm the one who gave it to him. I was hoping it'd distract him enough to spare us that ruckus he calls death metal. No such luck. You and Varl doing okay? Uh, uh training, I mean. We're doing fine. 
Although I admit it'd be nice to take a small break from studying, just the two of us. But then who'd look after Erend? There's always Catalo. Leave a loud Osaram with a brooding Tanakh. What could go wrong? What's everyone been up to? I've been trying to share some of my meals with Beta. Thought it might help her feel more at home. Maybe even get her to sleep up here instead of in that dark basement. She would not be moved. I appreciate you trying. Patience reaps the best harvest. I'm not giving up hope yet. How much have you read on Ted Farrow? Enough to wonder how a man who worked so hard to heal the world once could let greed and pride condemn it so easily. For one spirit to diminish in such a way, I, I'm not sure if I should hate him or pity him. She's it not looked wrong. like you were working on something over there. With Gaia now growing in strength, I've been trying to find a way to heal the land gods, even if some people think I should give up on them. Already said I was sorry. <laughs> Your friend thought it'd be a good idea to replace the land gods with new machines when Gaia recovers. It wasn't. The land gods have taken care of our people for generations. They are not some broken toy to be thrown away. Even if they are just machines doing their job, to abandon them in their time of suffering seems cruel. I'm sure Varl understands that too. He does now. I had he to does be now. Mad at him at first. <laughs> you know I can hear you guys, right? And she's just ignoring him. You know I can hear you guys, right? Oh, how should get going? Hopefully I can bring back what we need to capture Festus. After that, I'm gonna need everyone's help. We'll be ready. Alright. So that covers that. She Gaia said there was another um Okay, I wasn't sure if it would let me save just from that. Uh it won't. Um If you keep frowning that hard you'll get wrinkles. I just don't get this last part. Maybe Alright, so we can look at it together later. Let's open that. Should leave us out. Yep. Okay. Aloy, it's a long way to the coast. If you need to resupply en route, I suggest stopping in Falls Edge. It's a lowland clan village southwest of the grove, in the heart of the jungle. Got it. Thanks for the advice. Right, we're gonna go ahead and catch this campfire right here real quick. Apparently there's a quest. I see you, champion. Sit, please. Alright, what do you got for me, Rumor? A few days ago, I came across a massive bloom of flowers east of the grove. Old Dorica was out there, too. I offered to escort her back to Scalding Spear, but she refused. She's an accomplished soldier, to be sure. But her spear isn't as sharp as it used to be, if you get my meaning. If I'm out there, I'll keep an eye out for her. Alright, that's an in-bloom... All right, let's, oh, that's a new quest. Ahead. You shouldn't miss this chance to. Okay, what do you got? Ooh. All right, we'll look at those later on. We're here for the campfire. Come on. Stay alert, soldier. Let's take a look at our quest. What are we going to do next? So do we do Pharaoh's Tomb? Or do we do a... Why is this one hold again? Oh, until the Wings of the Ten has been completed. Well, how do I know that that one gets completed? We could do this one. I kind of want to see him with a new arm. 
you know or we could finish the second verse let's do the second verse next time that sounds like a fun one but all right so second verse is now selected we're tracking that so we will be continuing that next time so until then if you like this make sure to hit that like button hit that uh subscribe button if you want to hang out more and uh, be sure to check out my other socials check me out on twitch so you can find out when i go live there and see the other different games i play and actually chat with me until next time stay hydrated eat some sacrifices get some rest when you need it and take care of yourself physically and mentally meaning be kind not just to yourself but to others Bye-bye.